Welcome to the Kristen Starfish Show, the show that invites you to explore all the beautiful sea creatures out there. I'm your host, Kristen. This is my trusty starfish. Now today, we're gonna learn about those beautiful, huge fish with a beak-like mouth. Yeah, let's go learn about parrotfish. Time to take a dive. Let's put on our mask and snorkel. All right, thanks for taking this dive with me. Today, we're gonna take a deep dive into the world of parrotfish. Yeah, are you ready to explore the incredible facts about these remarkable underwater artists? Let's dive in. Now, parrotfish are like nature's graffiti artists. Yeah, they nibble on coral, grinding it with their beak-like teeth to, to reach all the algae and tiny organisms within. You can actually hear the crunching on the reef. Yeah, as they do that, they leave behind these colorful, intricate patterns right into the reef. It's like saying, yep, I was here. All right, parrotfish come in a dazzling array of colors. These shades aren't just for show, they do serve a purpose. They help parrotfish blend in with their surroundings and makes the reef a living masterpiece. Okay, how many parrotfish can you see? One, two, three, four. Yeah, they have the wedged tail. That's how you can recognize them. Now, not only do parrotfish create living artwork on the reef, but they're also skilled sand sculptures. They feed on coral, and then, yeah, after they digest it and all the algae, they poop out tiny sand. Yeah, that's how sandy beaches are formed. I bet you'll think about that next time you're at the beach, hey? They're like Mother Nature's landscapers. Parrotfish have fascinating gender-blending love stories. They start life as females, and as they grow, some will transition into males to maintain balance. Yeah, not only do they change color, they'll actually change sex. How cool is that? The artists are also really good reef cleaners. Yeah, parrotfish have coral grazing abilities, so they help control growth of algae which can take over a reef. They are very important at maintaining balance on the coral ecosystem. Let's finish up by checking out some pictures of the biggest parrotfish. Yeah, this is the bumphead parrotfish. They are truly spectacular when you get to see them on the reef. Sometimes they're in huge schools like here. Wow, that is so cool to see. And there you have it, fellow fish admirers. These marvelous creatures play an essential role in the life and vibrancy of coral reefs. Dive safely and continue to uncover the beauty that lies beneath the water. Thanks for taking this dive with me. Hey, krill. I love everything about being at sea. And I was reminded recently about the important role that a lighthouse can have to safely guide a ship home. Now, it's really important as parents that we need to be lighthouses for our kids but also our children can be lighthouses for their friends. It's important to be that source of support and encouragement as we try and navigate these rough seas. You know, if I'm not at sea, what's my favorite activity? Yep, let's go searching in the sand. All right, everyone. I've got an exciting episode of searching in the sand today. I just got the call from the Coast Guard I'm told there's four sea creatures that have washed up on the beach. Can you help me find them? We've got our bucket and a shovel and our rake. What else is on our bucket? Oh look, an umbrella and a fishy. All right, what should we use today for searching in the sand? Should we try our green rake? I think that's a great idea. All right, let's see what we can find, hey? <gasps> What's this? <gasps> it looks like a whale shark. Whoa. I bet he 
wants to get back in the water. Let's see what else we can find. fish. I think you want to get back in the water too. <gasps> What's this? Stegosaurus? You're not a sea creature. Whoa! And last but not least, we found a lobster! Amazing! Thanks so much for helping me search in the sand today, guys. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for tuning in to the Kristen Starfish Show. Remember, just keep swimming towards your dreams. I hoped you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And remember, in a world of angry sharks, let's be a starfish. Take care, and I'll see you again soon. Welcome to the Kristen Starfish Show, the show that takes you on an exciting journey through the world's oceans. Now, I'm Kristen, and this is my starfish here. Today we got an exciting episode to learn about some of the creatures that can grow as big as a human. Yeah, we're talking about giant clams. We're gonna learn about their exciting anatomy and some of the tricks they have to keep predators away. All right, starfish, are you ready to take a dive? Oh, let's put on your mask. All right, mask is on. Let's go take a dive. Hello, ocean explorers. Thanks for taking a dive with me. Time to explore the incredible world of giant clams! Are you ready to discover the awe-inspiring facts about these majestic, gentle giants of the sea? All right, let's dive right in! Now, our journey begins in these enchanted coral gardens. Yeah, where these magnificent creatures, the giant clams, really do reign supreme. They're known for their grandeur and their vital role on the reef. They're a really true testament to the wonders of the ocean. Giant clams are living jewels of the reef. They come in a stunning array of colors with hues ranging from electric blue to vibrant greens and fiery reds. Yeah, these fantastic colors are due to the algae living within their tissues. Yeah, that's how they get their energy. Now, giant clams are filter feeding champions. They also use their fleshy mantles and their rows of tentacles to filter plankton and nutrients from the surrounding water, contributing to the health of the reef. Yeah, it's like they're underwater vacuum cleaners of these gardens. How cool is that? Okay, how many fish can you count? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, me too. Okay, giant clams can actually help to build these reef cities. Yeah, they can provide a stable substrate for coral to actually attach and grow to. Yeah, these gentle giants really are like architects of these underwater cities. They really are sunbathing superstars too. They rely on the sunlight for all their survival as it helps their symbiotic algae that's within their tissues produce energy through photosynthesis. Yeah, they're like the sunbathers of the underwater world soaking up the rays. Giant clams can live a long time, some species for over a hundred years, and they can grow to be massive, some weighing hundreds of pounds. They're like the wise old guardians of the reef. 
And there you have it, fellow ocean explorers. The world of giant clams is a true wonder and little role to play on the reef. These gentle giants really are the guardians of the underwater gardens. Thanks everyone for diving. Keep exploring, keep learning, and always appreciate the beauty underneath the water. Thanks for taking this dive with me. L. La. Lionfish. I love swimming. Are you like me and just feel so at home in the water? You're powerful and in control of all your directions, whether you're going up to take a breath or deep dive down to check out something underwater. Sometimes if you get scared or anxious, you can maybe think of yourself swimming with the fish and remembering that you are powerful and in control. Sometimes just remembering those things and thinking, I'm powerful, I'm in control. It helps you remember that you can do anything if you just give it a try and set your mind to it. I'm getting hungry. Should we go do one of my favorite activities, math and eating? Yep, it's afternoon tea. One, two, three. Hey, well, thanks for joining us on another episode of Afternoon Tea, one, two, three. Yes, this is where we combine two of my favorite activities, eating and math. Okay, time for some counting. Who do we have today with the starfish? Oh, we've got some of my favorite Aussies. Yes, it's Bingo and Mum from Bluey. How are you guys doing today? All right, do you guys like eating your super fast food? Now what do I mean by super fast food? This is the food that you wanna eat to make you go supersonic speed. Okay, yes, that's our fruit and vegetables. So we've got some apple and carrots. Okay, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five apples. Would you like one starfish? Okay, one for starfish. What about you, mom? And bingo, would you like one too? One for mom, one for bingo. And you know what, I think I'm okay. We had five apples to start with. Starfish is gonna eat one, mom's gonna eat one, and Bingo's gonna eat one, so we're gonna lose one, two, three. So five minus three, yep, two left. All right, eat up. Okay, now we've got our carrots. Now we only have four carrots, and there are one, two, three, four of us. Is everyone gonna have one? I want a carrot, starfish wants a carrot, mom wants a carrot, bingo loves carrots. So we're gonna eat one, two, three, four carrots. Well, we only had four carrots to start with. So four carrots take away four. Yeah, you're right, no more carrots, zero. All right, everyone, let's eat up. All right, all gone now. And we've almost eaten all the food. Thanks for joining us today, my favorite characters from Australia. All right guys, have a nice day. Well, that's a wrap today for the Kristen Starfish Show. Keep spreading that positivity and changing the world into a better place. I hope you like these videos. Please come back and like and subscribe. I can be reached anytime at drkristenstarfish at gmail.com. And remember, in a world of angry sharks, let's all be a starfish. Take care. Hey, I'm Kristen. Starfish? Here's Starfish. Thanks for checking out the Kristen Starfish Show. We are gonna learn about some of my favorite fish today. 
These are beautiful bright fish that are very important to the Earth's ecosystems. Yep, it's time to take a dive and learn about angelfish. So let's put on our mask and snorkel and let's take a dive. Thanks for taking this dive with me. Today we're embarking on a fascinating journey to explore the world of angelfish. Are you ready to dive in and learn about all their secrets and wonders of these reef angels? Okay, let's begin our underwater expedition. Now our journey starts right in these coral gardens where angelfish are always dancing on the reef. Their elegant creatures are known for striking beauty and they have an essential role that they play in maintaining the harmony of the reef. Angelfish are the epitome of underwater elegance. They're like the ballet dancers out there. With their vibrant colors and elongated bodies, they glide through the reef like works of art, adding a touch of grace to the vivid underwater canvas. Angelfish come in a dazzling array of species and each have their unique beauty. Some have brilliant blue and yellow, while others have intricate patterns and different markings. Yeah, it's like a living rainbow in the sea. Angelfish have distinctive personalities too. Yeah, they can be territorial, defending their patches of reef with determination. Or they can be really curious and they'll actually approach divers and be really friendly. It's like each have their own underwater character. Now angelfish are also omnivorous, meaning that they like to eat a diverse diet like algae, small invertebrates, and even sponges. Their nibbling can actually help control the algae growth, making them the gardeners of the coral reefs. Angelfish are essential reef keepers. They help control algae growth, which in turn promotes the growth of coral and helps maintain the balance of the reef ecosystem. They're like diligent guardians of the underwater garden. And there you have it, fellow explorers. The world of angelfish is a testament to the wonder of the seas. With their elegance, diverse beauty, unique personalities, and essential roles in the reef, they remind us of the intricate and hit balance of the ocean. As we end our adventure, remember that the ocean holds countless treasures and mysteries waiting for you to find. So keep coming back and taking a dive with me. And remember, dive safely, continue your journey, and explore the big blue ocean. Thanks for taking this dive. M. Mmm, manta ray! Wow, starfish, I love learning about all these sea creatures. But sometimes learning, you can get a little bit frustrated. But it's important to remember, just like the waves in the ocean that have ebbs and flows, so do your emotions. So just sometimes you just have to let those feelings pass and calm down. And when you're not as frustrated, it gets a little bit easier to learn some of those exciting things out there. What should we do now? I think it's time to, <gasps> yep, see what? Sink or floats, time for the buoyancy test. All right, thanks for joining me for another buoyancy test. Yep, that's right, let's see if things sink or float. What do we got today? Well, we've got a bouncy ball. It's blue, kind of looks like earth, pretty cool. Pretty heavy as well. And seal. Oops. All right, seal, you stay there. And lobster. Okay, who wants to go first? Why don't we get our marine animals? Okay, they like to live underwater, but let's see if these plastic animals sink or float. All right, seal, take a dive. Oh, he sinks. Hey, you can hang out down there with Mr. Octopus. 
Okay, crab. Oh, it's not a crab, it's a lobster. Okay, lobster, ready? Let's take a dive. Pshh. Also wants to hang out with the octopus. Pretty cool. Okay, what do you think about this? The ball. Ready? Whoa! That was pretty cool. He went all the way down and then came back up. So our bouncy ball floats. And these guys sink. Hmm. Guess that's pretty good seeing as they're marine animals. Thanks for learning with us today on the Kristen Starfish Show. Remember, even if you're just a little starfish out there, you can make a big impact on the world. Keep learning and exploring. And remember, in a world of angry sharks, let's all be a starfish. Take care.